fees are you did a mother still did a mother still did a mother still did a mother still What's going on guys, welcome back to Mass Productions and welcome back to another episode of the fantastically worded, if I do say myself, uh, series that is Mazza, Produ- Mazza Predictions even. So today we're going to start off, uh, it's just sort of a short pre-prediction kind of, of the highly rumoured and hopefully soon to be confirmed undisputed heavyweight title fight between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Obviously this one, if this does become a confirmed fight in the near future, we'll produce a ton of content around it. But simply whilst it's still unconfirmed, we wanted to keep it quite short and sweet. And yeah, so we'll just give our early fights on how we, f- early thoughts on how we think the fight could play out. I mean, it's the fight that has to happen for boxing's sake, essentially. Like, it's the biggest fight in decades, genuinely, since maybe Tyson Lewis, I'd say. Like, it, it'd just be huge. Obviously, heavyweight boxing, these huge gladiators, they just capture the heart of even like their... The casual, the real casual fans, the, like everyone's going to be interested in this fight, regardless of if you're interested in Canelo, Ryan Garcia, or if you've never heard of him, you're still going to be interested in Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, and that's why it has to happen. So, yeah, essentially, I see this fight going one of three ways, which will result in one of two outcomes, essentially. So, I see style choices being the key component in victory for both fighters. I see the, f- the first option would be Fury fighting on the front foot like he did in the Wilder fight and Joshua fighting on the back foot like the Ruiz rematch. And that combination, I see Fury winning within a matter of rounds. I see Fury just steamrolling him, the size of the man. And his shot selection in the Wilder rematch was insane. So even though Joshua looks very calculated and composed boxing on the back foot like he has the last few fights, I see I, j- I just see Fury being too good for... Joshua to fight on the defence and Fury not to hunt him down. So I'd see Fury winning that one fairly easy if that is the style that Joshua goes for and that's the style Wilder go, uh, Fury goes for. Option number two is Fury on the front foot and Joshua on the front foot. So it's basically a slugfest. They'd meet in the middle and just trade. Obviously, they're both elite level fighters, so it'd be calculated. But in this scenario, I'd see Joshua coming out on top. I think the combinations he throws with such venom, such power, I'd... I'd see him catching Fury and probably getting the better if they do stand and trade. But I don't see this being the likely route for either of them. But if so, I'd give the edge to Joshua if this was the sort of outcome that would happen. And then option three, I've got Fury on the back foot, sort of how he was in the first original uh, Wilder fight, and Joshua on the front foot taking centre ring. And in that case, I'd say Fury's just about good enough defensively to edge the victory. I'd guess that one would probably go to points, but I, I'd say it's more likely, it's more of an even fight than if Josh, uh, than if Fury's on the front foot and Joshua's on the back foot, just because I, I believe Joshua's a lot better going forward than Wilder is. So it'd be it'd be a close fight. It'd be probably the closest option out of the three, I'd say, uh, on how I see the fight going. Uh, it'd, it'd be interesting to see who does come out on top. But yeah, like I said, this is kind of a short pre-prediction and we will in time hopefully have the opportunity to make more content around the fight if it does indeed end up being confirmed. But this is in fact going to wrap up the video, so please don't forget to let us know your predictions in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, please don't forget to drop a like on the video and hit that big red subscribe button. Thank you for watching once again and peace.